Hello my dears, welcome to my channel. It's Truly Trenion. Today's topic is about a process of the making of a rare, inspired 1890s petticoat. It was based off an extant garment from Majora Fay's shop. I'll link an original petticoat below of her shop. I want to create this petticoat for my 1899 inspired dress that is so frothy and full. So I had difficulties finding an example of this style, of this petticoat, hence its rarity. And I may be wrong, but it's just uh, I had to use the pictures from the site as reference. You'll rarely see me in my undergarments, but here are the clips of the documentation of the process. Hello everybody, this is my petticoat. I'm not sure if anyone is in interested to uh, see this progress, but I will go ahead and record it. So this is the petticoat that I'm putting under the skirt. I'm doing a little video uh, vlog, so... And then I had made th uh, four variations of ruffles. So this is actually the, the top ruffle will be on like this. And then you have a... 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch. 6 inch is to allow the bottom to train a little bit more. I'll do the rolled hem on the bottom like this, as you can see. And then I'll place it on the skirt. I was actually inspired by um, a seller. I'll put her link below by a skirt she's selling. And I also did this on the bias, so it gives a beautiful silhouette. And then I did it a triangle shape uh, train in the back to allow it to flow nicely and I absolutely love this uh, silhouette so hopefully and I also did the rolled hem as well so uh, that's that so more to come so now I'm going to sew all the seams so basically I'm going to make a one fourth one fourth again turn it inside out and then basically do a front seam and then I'll be making the rolled hem on this side and then the rolled hem on that side so I have to make at least seven of these so I'll continue doing that Basically, this is what the French seam would look like. I know you're not supposed to use selvage in your main self fabric, but I don't really like wasting fabric, so I go ahead and sew with the selvage. I usually wash it out and then the holes will disappear, but generally you would not, you know, use the selvage to sew with your actual fabric. So that's just a little clarification why I use the full fabric also I'm trying to do, reduce waste in that manner. So this is the second day I made um, I finally hemmed everything up so this is the 6 inch 5 inch 4 inch and then this one was the the ruffles I actually decided to do it by hand because the machine is not actually really pretty so I decided to go ahead and take my needle and thread and make a basting stitch. This is how much I've done already. 
and I'm going to make some more. Hopefully, I'll get that done. Wish me luck. So this is what the basting stitch basically looks like, and it's about one to two millimeters. And then once it's all made, I will basically gather it and then stroke the threads onto the actual fabric. And that's how I will create the flounces for the petticoat. All right, everyone, I'm back. So basically, I uh, hemmed basted the stitch one fourth and I gathered the, f the first part so that will be on the bottom hem and then it took forever so basically I'm going to ruffle all this as so this one and then I shall uh, officially pin it in place then I will stroke the stitches to be sh to make sure that it is equal and beautiful So basically I've been sewing for a while and um, so I've been gauging it so the ruffles will lie straight at least a one inch or one half hem and then I'm basically sewing it trying to pull the stroke the threads so they can lie evenly as I sew. So that's basically what I've been doing and I'll show you the next process very soon. So I'm back. This is uh, with two layers of ruffles. So basically I'm going to put two more. That's basically what it looks like. Here, let me show you the back. It's such a lovely... That was the complete petticoat in its frothy glory. Well, now, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you would like to be updated when the next video comes out, please subscribe. Good day, my dears. Enjoy life truly and a good